Hello everyone. Today we are going to derive the equation of the profile or shape of a cable when it is subjected to uniformly distributed load. Let us keep VA and VB as the vertical reactions in the points A and B respectively. L is the span of the cable. H is the central dip of the cable. W is the uniformly distributed load. H is the horizontal thrust. We know that for the cables supported on the same level and subjected to uniformly distributed load, the formulas to find the vertical reactions VA and VB is WL upon 2 and the formula to find the horizontal thrust H is WL square upon 8H. Let us consider a point P having the coordinates X and Y. Let us take a moment about P. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is X. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the load we have to multiply the distance and a distance by 2. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the horizontal thrust, the perpendicular distance is y. From all of these, we can take w upon 2 outside and we can take it on the right side. 0 into 2 upon w, we will get a 0. Then we can take this term on the other side. So it will come as positive. We can take x outside. Then we can take L square upon 4H on the other side. Finally for Y, we will get 4HX into L minus X upon L square. Alternatively, we can make this expression. Let us take the cable separately. Similar to the previous method, in the cable let us consider a point P having the coordinates X and Y. Considering the shape of the cable as parabolic, let us use the equation of parabola O is equal to Kx into L minus X. When X is L upon 2, O is H. In this equation, for X, let us apply L upon 2 and for Y, let us apply H. So that we will get this equation. L minus L upon 2 is L upon 2. Finally, for k, we will get 4h upon l square. In this equation, for k, let us apply this so that we will get this equation. Using this equation, we can find the shape or profile of the cable. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.